what time did you sense these other personalities wanting to kill everybody? Well, I guess it's about the time that I started taking Dr. Rand's shiny black headache pills. Dr. Rand's headache pills? Yes. They're very similar in size and color to the ones that he was giving his wife just before she went mad. Oh, dear. I think that was a secret. Forget I said that. Oh. oh, you're no more crazy than the rest of us. It's the pills. Oh, Dr. Ram was using his wife as a human guinea pig. Look. Oh, my. I was supposed to be taking those with meals. Oh, he is such a monster. Right after I take you down to the police station to confess, I'm going to sit him down and give him a good talking Just to. Just a minute. Just, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back. Did you say police station? Oh, you are going to turn yourself in, aren't you? Oh, no. Oh, my, no. I'm a little too old to be, to be sharing a cell with somebody by the name of Big Jody. Oh, you wouldn't do that, would you? Well, I'm your therapist. I, I can't turn you in. Oh, well, then I guess it'll be just our little secret. Oh, and thank you. For what? For curing me. <laughs> Wait a second. Maybe there's a way that we can keep our little secret and see justice done after all. This man's life is in my hands. I could save him or not, as I choose. If he dies, this hellhole will be shut down forever. And think of all the lives that would save. Doctor, is something the matter? My hands. They're slightly different sizes. I never noticed that before. Dr. Rand, don't you think we should move this along? Are you accusing me of something, Van Hoon? I'm not accusing you of anything, but I see no reason to dawdle over an open chest cavity. We're losing him. Rand, in the name of all that's holy, pick up those instruments. All right, Van Hoon. I'll save your precious clinic. Scalpel. He's the one. Ironically holding a bloody knife. Drop the scalpel, Doc. I have a warrant for your arrest for the murder of 72 patients and the torture of several others. Detective, please. Dr. Rand is in the middle of urgent and delicate surgery. I'd ask that you allow him to finish up here first. Sorry, this takes precedence. Let's get you washed up and down to the station. Sorry, Horton. I guess somebody up there just hates you. Detective, you, you, you can't do this, Detective! You, this just gets juicier and juicier, doesn't it, Horton? Quiet, Erica. I need to think. Damn it, why can't I think? Charlie? You went to medical school? For a while. I never finished. You have to do this. You have to finish this operation. What about you, Dr. Van Hoon? Me? Do these look like the hands of a surgeon? Uh, I would have to say they do not. You have the gift, Charlie. I can feel it. I don't know. You don't have to know anything. I'll be your brain, son. You'll be my hands. Together we can save Elliot. Together we can save the clinic! Do you understand these rights as I have read them to you? Yes, of course. By the way, what evidence do you have that connects me to these murders? An anonymous tip led us to your office in your ghoulish stash of Polaroids. Polaroids? Betty Rose. Big mistake, Betty. It won't stick. This is just a formality. I have money. And in this country, money buys justice. I'll be back. Let's go.
Charlie. Scalpel. Scalpel. Silk. Silk. Camel. Okay, Charlie. Not just so that artery open. What's happening? He's got a bifurcated left ventricle. The guy's a freak. What do I do now? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Daddy, he's flatlining. Damn. Suture pull. He's sucking air. What do I do? I don't know. Clear. Still flat. This is not funny, Hort man. I'm thinking, damn it. Don't rush me. Wait, I got an idea. This is like a double barrel carburetor, right? Perhaps. Yes. I'm gonna swap some hoses and turbocharge this bad boy. What is he doing? Yes, yes, Charlie. I see what you're doing. Suction. Damn it. If it works, it's a first. <laughs> Big if there, Doc. Betty, you out there? I'm right here, Charlie. How'd things go with a nut job? She's all better now. That's my girl. Yes. Yes. That's brilliant. He reminds me of me. Uh, double the voltage, Sylvia, and give it to him Swedish. Clear. We've got sinus rhythm. Yeah. You're gonna be fine. Here, sign this check. Well, hello there, Dr. Van Hoon. How are you today? Yeah, fine, fine, Elliot. Just sign the check. You bet. Glad to help. Right. Are yeah. those exhaust fumes I smell? <laughs> the clinic is saved! Kirby, to the back! Oh, Charlie. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I love you too, Betty. Or as I hope to call you one day, Mrs. Dr. Betty Rose Rand. I would like that. Or as I would like to call you, Dr. Charlie Rand Rose. You look relieved, Horton. I beat you, Erica. And that feels good. Well. It's been quite a day here at the clinic, quite a week, really. Now I'm ready for a steak. A couple of scotches, a little gin, some vodka, and a little sleep. I wouldn't relax just yet if I were you. What are you yammering about now? I didn't want to resort to this. But I'm going to call Detective Rousseau back and have him formally charge you as the man who willfully murdered my baby in this very room ten years ago. What? Willfully murdered? Do you deny it? Yes. Because, as you know, it was my baby too, Erica. And I would not murder my own child. But that's exactly what you did. I remember it all vividly. I remember I... I was on the delivery table right there. The room was very cold. You arrived late and very upset. Something is wrong. Something is terribly wrong. Where's Dr. Huxtable? His car broke down. He said you have to go ahead without him. But I can't deliver my aunt. <laughs> Prepper, we've got to deliver. <laughs> What's this? Then you suddenly stopped. It was like you got scared. Horton, what are you doing? Then you panicked and started ordering everyone out of the room. I can do this myself. Get out. Go, nurse, go. <laughs> And then you pulled. Out he came into the world. I thought I heard him cry. And then silence. Oh my God. Oh dear God. Horton! No! No, Erica, that's not what happened at all. The nurses on call that night are prepared to testify. You ordered them out of the room. You leave me no choice. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I think it's time you knew. What are you talking about? Come with me to the roof. You'll see. 